It always does go well for us in England. You know, we seem to have uh, what they call a cult following. That that means that um, you don't get in the top 40, but people always come and see you play wherever you play. It's weird. To us, records are like a sideline. You know, perhaps it stems from like the old sort of cabaret type working men's club days whereby you do a performance and then they go and buy your record at the end of the show, you know. We just think of ourselves mainly as a live band and the records are something else, like a little token of what we do on stage. America, they don't really understand what we're doing an awful lot because we've only had two albums released in America uh, and it's taken the, the British public around about four albums to start to understand the, the width of what we do, you know, because uh, we do a lot of different stuff. You can't really put us in one category. You can put us in every category, but you can't put us in one. And in America, they, they just tend to think of us as either a pop sort of band or a heavy metal band, when of course we're both, you know. top 40. Most bands tend to start off indie and cult and credible and then gradually they lose all that and they become massively successful. We were very successful when we started but we've become like underground now. It's, it's back to front but I like it a lot better you know because we can do what we want instead of having to come up with like another hit single after another hit single. We can just put out whatever we want and, and it'll do well enough for us to make more records. We're not uh, getting rich very quickly but it's, it's it's so rewarding to be able to play the kind of music you want to and, and keep on doing that. Obviously, since I've been about 13, I've wanted to get on top of the pops and stuff. When we actually did it, it was, it was very boring once again. It just seems that as soon as you get to a certain plateau, uh, it's, it's, you have to start all over again. We didn't like the kind of things that came with that success, things like having to do Saturday morning television and, and you know, go on, like, chat shows in America with wrestlers and stuff, you know. Um, I think you retain more dignity if you, if you don't if you can avoid doing those programs. Obviously, it gets more people to see you, but uh, it's only a very fickle, quick thing. You know, I don't think it guarantees that people are going to be buying your records for ten years.